One key feature that distinguishes biologic drugs such as monoclonal antibodies from small molecule drugs such as aspirin is their production. This highly complex process, biomanufacturing, requires much more time and expense than needed for small molecules. Biomanufacturing is the production of biological products from living cells. Companies use the process to make biologic drugs such as antibodies and enzyme replacement therapies. Small molecule drugs can be synthesized chemically. As their name suggests, biologics require living cells. Biomanufacturing isn't just about medicine though. For instance, companies use the process to make enzymes for bioremediation, that is, cleaning up toxic stuff in the environment. The food processing industry also uses biomanufactured products. Step number one, establishing the cell bank. First things first, biomanufacturing involves engineering a cell to produce a specific protein. Using well-established techniques, scientists transfer a gene encoding the desired protein into a production cell. The two most commonly used production cells are E. coli bacterial cells and Chinese hamster ovary cells or CHO cells. Once a manufacturer successfully manipulates a cell to produce said protein, the cells multiply. Scientists call these genetically identical cells the production cell line. Step number two, the master cell bank. Step two is for the manufacturer to establish a master cell bank that supplies genetically identical cells for future products. Companies create cell banks by transferring the production cell line to a bioreactor. Though they may sound scary, bioreactors are simply vessels filled with a growth medium, a broth with the required nutrients brewing in optimal conditions of temperature, pH, and oxygen concentration for cell growth. The cells are left to simmer or multiply for a few generations, creating hundreds of millions of identical copies. The manufacturer collects this slough and portions them into small vials. Each of the several hundred receptacles contains about a million cells. The vials are then frozen with liquid nitrogen, cooling them to negative 196 degrees Celsius. The deep freeze stops cell growth. In other words, if some future scientist thawed one of the vials in 20 years, she or he would find the cells inside exactly as they were at storage, barring apocalypse or someone tripping over the power strip. This stable longevity is key, as product consistency over the lifetime of the product is critical to drug safety. Manufacturers typically divide the master cell bank for storage in three separate locations, so that disaster in one place doesn't wipe out this important resource. In each location that a product is manufactured, a manufacturer creates a working cell bank by thawing one vial from the master cell bank and expanding it or allowing it to multiply for a few generations, and then freezing several hundred vials for storage. Each new biomanufacturing campaign starts by thawing a vial of cells from the working cell bank.